guys. Uh, this is, I think it's a masterpiece, Bumblebee uh, knockoff. Um, you can see some of the paint. This has obviously been lent to me by my good friend, Luke and Monk. And you can see there is some problems there with paint apps and things like that. Um, he says that the plastic, because he has a real one of these now, the plastic feels pretty much the same. Obviously, the real ones come in a better box, etc, etc. Um, he couldn't find a box when he lent me this. But, yeah, the wheels work quite well. Now, <clears throat> he did break it the first time he did it, so if a bit falls off while I'm doing this, that's not my fault, okay? So I'm going to try and transform it, because I had a little go at it this morning, and it's a lot easier to transform into a robot than it is to transform back into a car. The transforming it into a robot took me about five minutes. Transforming it back into a car took about half an hour and some tears. So, da -da 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 -da, let's have a go. Right, there is a little gun under here, which comes off. There we go. The gun. Alright, so... Sorry if I don't do this right, Lucan. I'm doing my best. Those are the legs. Close down like that. Then the feet. Then they fold. Wheels go down there. And then they fold in. Sorry, I've got to do it so you can see it. Ta -da. Feet. Arms bit. A bit drops down like so. This bit. See that bit comes off. <laughs> now that bit you're supposed to take it off. You're supposed to not take it off because it's not supposed to fall off. But that bit's supposed to turn around so that it then faces that way. Yeah, we'll do that bit in a minute. So, <laughs> uh, that bit falls down there. That bit falls down there. The arms come out. There is one hand. There is the other, which sounds up pretty well. I've just got to figure out. Okay, there we go. So that is him transformed into a robot, which isn't too difficult. But like I say, <clears throat> transforming him back into the beetle is a little bit harder. Obviously, um, like I say, this is a knockoff. This isn't an original. What you're getting here is something for half the cost of the originals, that bit. I can say, kind of stays on, but it's a shame that it broke. I don't know if I broke it more. Sorry if I have Lucan. I really tried not to. There we go. <sighs> hey guys, at least I'm showing you this. There we, there we go, back on. So yeah, I mean the thing with these is that we ain't going to be playing with them 
like, you know, toys as such, we may transform it into one or the other and stand it on a shelf. I also think that the beauty of these is that you couldn't buy an original one uh, and leave that in one form and buy one of the knockoff ones and leave that in the other form and then you've kind of got the two, you know, the two versions. I say the knockoffs, obviously they're half, sometimes quarter of the price uh, of the original ones. So yeah, it's really kind of what you want to go for, what you want to pay for. Um, I still like the little guy, I must admit. Sort of thing, you just stand on your shelf. Um, yeah. Actually, I think he's a masterpiece. Sorry if I've got that title wrong. Yeah, I like the little guy. Um, and if you've enjoyed this video, and it gets enough views and enough feedback and things like that, um, I'll actually pick some of the knockoff ones off, uh, knockoff ones up, and do little reviews of them. Because if I know people want to see it, then I'll, you know, spend a bit of money and do it. Because I do like some of these characters, but I don't want to be spending hundreds of pounds on them where these, I mean, you can get one of these for, um, for next to nothing really compared. Yeah, so there's Bumblebee knockoff. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please leave some subscriptions at the bottom and some likes. Hope you all have a great day, a great night, and now I'm going to go off and try and transform this guy back, and I will see you all really soon. Bye now.